Hi, James here from Quirky QRP Ham Radios, and I wanted to show you guys a new product I just came up with. Uh, pardon me, I'm in my garage. Uh, this is the Ziptenna. It is a multi-band counterpoise for your handheld to improve your effective power output. So there are markings along the wire. And as you extend it, it'll perform better on different frequencies. So the first mark is for 70 centimeters, FRS and GMRS. The second mark is for 1.25 meters, handband. Third mark is for MERS, Maritime and weather band. This will also help improve your receiving capabilities as well. The fourth mark is for the two meter band and the full extension is for aviation. My dad's a pilot, so I wanted to add that as well. So I came up with the Ziptenna idea because I like to use a lanyard on my radio uh, for fear of dropping it and breaking it. But I also like to use a tiger tail or rat tail counterpoise as they're called. Uh, the problem is putting those two things together, it gets really cluttered and you have this wire hanging down off your belt, you got a lanyard hanging off your belt, they get tangled up together. And I just didn't like that. Um, I also want to be able to operate on multiple frequencies and tiger tails are typically just a single band. Uh, another advantage of the zip tenna over your traditional tiger tails is that tiger tails or counterpoises as they're called, when they hang down, if you've ever tried making one yourself, uh, they're cheap to make. The problem is the wire hangs at weird positions and kind of loops and it really affects your performance. It's why a lot of counterpoise uh, designs sometimes get bad reviews or a bad rap uh, because you gotta deploy it properly. So the advantage of the Ziptenna is that when you deploy it, this is held vertical. You, you are in control of the counterpoise and it keeps it from flopping around and getting in your way. Traditional counterpoises tend to be made with one of these and you crimp your wire onto it and attach it under your antenna. The problem with this is that some radios, the tolerance is very tight between the body of the radio and the antenna. And in some cases, by putting that ring terminal connector there, it can prevent the antenna from making contact with the radio. Uh, this has happened with my wife and it's also happened with a friend of mine. And we couldn't figure out why their radio wasn't getting out until we took off the counterpoises we had made and then magically they started working. So be careful making your own counterpoises using ring terminals because you can damage your radio if it's not making connection. The Zip Tennis solves that problem by being a passive counterpoise. It doesn't have to make direct connection to the ground or shielding of uh, your radio or antenna and that allows you to protect your radio from accidental non-antenna connection and further protect your radio from falling because it also doubles as your lanyard so i'm going to demonstrate this for you now i'm going to switch to the double camera okay as you can see here i've got my vx8 and i'm using this radio because it has an attenuator built in so i can do this test in close proximity. I've taken the antenna off to attenuate it even further, otherwise the signal, incoming signal strength will be too high. And I'm gonna transmit with and without the zip antenna to show the performance increase. This is just a simple test at 3 tenths of a watt uh, with the stock ducky antenna on. Now, the zip antenna attaches just to the regular lanyard connection point on the back of your radio and it drapes down, you want it to drape down behind your radio and your hand goes over it. The zip antenna has a quick release. This will allow me to hold the radio in exactly the same position and connect and disconnect the zip antenna periodically to show the performance difference uh, with having it attached and not attached. Okay, now we're gonna test the difference between with and without the zip antenna attached. Transmit here, we're seeing a pretty low signal strength. I'm going to bring the zip antenna up to the radio and connect it up there. There we go. Okay, now I'll 
I'll disconnect it. All right. And reconnect it. Pretty good increase in signal strength with it connected. And it really drops down without it connected. Now this is designed to go with a your typical stock quarter wave rubber duck antenna. And there you have it. That's the zip antenna. Multi-band counterpoise. Work with any handheld radio on just about every band made for handheld radios, both ham bands and non-ham bands, including aviation, maritime frequencies, um, FRS, GMRS, MERS, and there's different markings. It's hard to see in the video, but there are different markings along the way to show you which one to extend it to, depending on which band you're gonna operate from. Hope you like it, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. 73.